Hello guys and welcome back to another Gothic 2 Returning Balance mod with me Slivers. We are here at the Dead Harpy and we're gonna do the quest that we have been missing so far, so let's get to it. First one is with, of course, our good old pirate Greg, Captain Greg, if I may say so myself. And he is uh, trying to get back his old treasure that he left around the island. So I here actually killed the wolf myself because uh, if he kills him, you don't get any experience. I did it myself. Since I'm such a high level, I actually just wanted to kill all the goblins by myself. I tried the, doing the same thing when I was playing uh, Gothic 2 Gold and actually this part was a lot harder than I thought it would be. Since Gothic 2 Returning has an option to um, have melee splash, which means that there's multiple enemies attacking you, you only hit one, and they're close enough together, it will hit all of them at the same time. Kind of weird, I know, but uh, for me it works. It, it makes the game a little more um, truth, truthful and uh, uh, easier at the same time. For certain things, of course. Not if they're single uh, boss enemies like this, uh, like the dragons. But hey, for goblins, for wolves, that works. So the first treasure is actually in this cave. He will give you a pickaxe. And once you get to one of these uh, areas with a highlighted, um, how would you call that? X marks the spot, you can start digging. And instead of digging three, four, five times, like in the original, just dig once and the thing that you're looking for will appear. Make sure you say yes, you dug up a small bag of gold. So um, you actually continue the quest instead of saying no, because it's definitely not worth it. I'm going to kill the wolves over here. And I'm also going to kill the... Uh, the boars because I have not yet done that. Even with the black goblins I don't seem to have much of a problem anymore. Alright time to go across this little uh, lake and on the middle of the lake there's gonna be a lot of uh, little curbs you can pick up especially for Constantino if you're working for him. And in the middle of this little island there will also be another X marks the spot. And on it, you will find another purse. That's one of the four areas that you need to look for. Alright. Make sure you also grab all the mushrooms and everything that you see around. Later on, when we get to Jarkandar and our Will of the Wisp will be upgraded, it will probably just pick up a lot more stuff along the way. But for now, it's, uh, it's a good thing. I remember trying to use the Will of the Wisp in the basic Gothic game. And what it does is just... It just locates the stuff, but it doesn't pick up anything. So what they made here was uh, very essential for making the game a little uh, more approachable and, uh, and easier. Since there's uh, so many things to pick up around that it would be just impossible to pick everything by hand. And it would take a lot longer too. A mother boar has a little more health. 800 even if you're playing this uh, without downscaling the, the enemies like I did. But the second, uh, sorry, third X marks the spot is right here next to these legs. I'm also gonna kill some of these snappers and lurkers over here, just because I can. And it's fun, of course. I should probably also be saving a lot of these for when I actually get the demon to fight for me. So he also gets a lot of experience. But hey, I just wanted to do it anyway. We'll have plenty of experience to go around. Once the demon is level 70 or so, it can pretty much ink anything on its own. At least uh, when it comes to single, uh, single enemies.
And the fourth and final mar X marks the spot is down here with the hunter's camp in this little corner. Make sure you go from the right side so you can actually use your pickaxe. And the amulet is uh, right I there. Now Greg will be waiting for you at the crossroad for Onar's farm. So that's where I'm going now. So I'm going to deliver all of these items. Greg is one of the coolest people in town, of course. <laughs> He's also very strong when it comes to combat. Hey. He has a weapon that I do not recognize, uh, at least stuff. that you can actually buy. Maybe it's a cutlass, but I think cutlass is a uh, a double-handed sword, not one-handed. Anyway, back to the Dead Harpy Tavern, we also have bandits that have attacked Erol and Revan. We're gonna first off start with Revan, because there's only two of them. She also gives you an apple pie, which you will learn how to make later on in the game if you know where to look for. I will actually show you that. Revan will later show up in Corrigan's uh, tavern, serving him there. Uh, serving the drinks, of course. But for now, we have to get rid of the bandits for her, since they actually took 200 gold from her. I'm surprised that the bandits take stuff from you, you know, like that, and they kidnap people, but every time they see you, the nameless hero, they just attack you, no matter what you do. Unless you have the bandits' armor, of course. You can actually talk to them and uh, <laughs> see what they have for you. There's a note for this, though. If you do have bandits armor and you do come across certain types of enemies like this, you can actually uh, pickpocket them before you uh, before you kill them. And when you kill them, you extra you get extra loot, normally extra gold and weapons and all of that. I almost got killed over here because I wasn't paying attention. They just normally die from bleeding itself because I have so much armor okay. penetration with this weapon. Alright. That's it for these bandits. You also get the stone tablets that were stolen from Erol. And uh, you give them back and you get some experience. Now, if you already done the Assassin's uh, Guild quest for Nigel, you already got a letter of recommendation for the Merchant's Guild for... Uh, what's his name again? Luthero. Otherwise, you would get it from Erol himself. But since that's not the case, uh, we didn't get anything besides learning the strength from him. So we're going to return the 200 gold to Revan. She's going to give us an apple pie and 300 experience. And Erol, well, he's going to give us 300 experience and teach us how to hit better. I only have 14 strength at this point because I never trained strength. I'm gonna become a mage later on. And since I uh, use a dexterity spear, that's just fine. Anyway, we do have uh, one more quest to do, I believe. And that is the one with Rukar and the drinking game. So what you want to do is ask him what's up with this drinking game, What's uh, who you can place a bet on. And uh, then you're going to go to his chest, take out whatever it's, it's inside, and just put one bottle of water inside instead. And that way, Rukar will not win his next round. Who to get though? It's Randolph. If you guys played the original game that you already probably know how this works, it hasn't changed. And, uh, well, I just did this to get it out of the way. Once you talk to Randolph, you can go back to Rukar and tell him you want to bet 100 gold on him. 
and he will accept your stake. There you go. I have to go back to Randolph and tell him to actually compete. And then just wait one or two days by sleeping it over in the tavern itself. You'll get some experience, which is worth every bit of it. I actually went to the wrong teleport, I ended up in the Hunter's Guild. But yeah, you had to go back to the Dead Harpy, Orlan will talk to you. I actually haven't talked to this person yet, so um, <laughs> even though I'm wearing the ring of the Water Mages, or the Ring of Water, he will give me a uh, free room. But he doesn't have anything specific for me, so we're just gonna basically sleep it over until uh, Rukar loses his round of the drinking contest. Might as well ever pick up everything that it's in the room. For those that don't know, there is a shortcut for uh, quick lock picking every chest, but it will consume your lock picks. So it's a shift and Z. You can uh, just you know, insta lockpick with dexterity if you have enough there of it. You are, finally. What happened? Drinking cup. Who won this time? Randolph. So Randolph won. We get 300 experience. You get some gold from uh, from Rukar, and you also get some There's gold from cup. Randolph. You seem to have bitten off. Here's your money. Подожди минутку. Hangover? No. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button and subscribe for more future content. And that's it for this episode guys, thank you so much for watching it with me and I will see you in the next one.